Hi again. Hopefully you've watched the first video about the second grade Common Core math program. This video will show you how to view results of your students' diagnostic tests. So the first thing I do is, again, go to my Common Core Grade 2 icon, and you'll see the same, um, you see right here, the same interface. And this time, um, you'll see three buttons, or two buttons that are of, of pertinence here. View Diagnostic Test Result and Advanced Statistics. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to View Diagnostic Test Result. So when you click on it, you'll see the option to view scores by standard or by student. Here I can click on a standard and see how all students scored on that particular standard for my diagnostic test. So let's go to 2.nbt.b.5, for example. So if I click here, Okay, you can see that we need some work as my class as a whole has only scored three out of eight on this standard when they took their diagnostic tests. This tells me that this particular standard may require reteaching. It also shows how each student performed on the standard so I can see if there are outliers. So you see I have one student, two students who got one out of one on it, and I have two students who scored pretty poorly, a 0% and a 25%. And so this gives me a lot more details on the, the variance and the various statistical breakdowns of student performance on this standard. I can do this with every standard. I can go back now. And I can do it by student also. So if I go by student, you can see the student who I, uh, I took this student's, I took the test for this student. So let's click on C records. I click on test one because he only took it once. It'll show a whole different set of standards for each time he takes it. And you can see how this particular student did on each standard for this test. He got 12 out of 15, as you remember. And you can see he really doesn't seem to need practice with 2.oa.b.2. Um, and you can see where he got the zero percentage areas that um, he could use practice in. And these were the standards in which the system automatically deployed reinforcement exercises. If I were to click on view standard details, I can see how all the students, again, performed on each standard. You'll see right here. And here's, here's another one where we could use some practice on 2.oa.a.1. And so you see the system's pretty powerful. It gives a lot of statistics for each student. But and for the class as a whole, but I think um, I'm, I'm excited to show you my favorite part of the program. So my favorite tool is where it says advanced statistics. Here it shows the exact test or tests I have assigned and the breakdown of scores on each item in the test. This is great to show students on a projector and review difficult concepts. So if I click on advanced statistics, it's going to show me the test just like, uh, it, uh, just like a student will see it. You see, my, when I took the diagnostic test, there were only 15 items. But I've changed that from one time to another. So over the various diagnostic tests I've given, there have been 37 possible problems that show up. There's, there's well over 200 potential problems that can show up. So as you see, I can see for each item that has possibly appeared in a student test, it will show me how, each student, how the class did. So for this particular question, Alex ate 27 jelly beans, Michaela ate 13 more. How many jelly beans did Michaela eat? You see that we have an overall uh, score of zero out of one. I've only had like four kids take the test so far. As I keep going, you'll see for this particular question, we're zero for three. This one, we're three out of three. And so on and so forth. And this is really great to do on a projector or on a whiteboard. Um, so students, they love, students themselves love seeing these statistics because they can see um, how the class as a whole did on particular problems also. So this is very, very useful. If I go back one page, I want to show you one other thing here. I think this should be sufficient. Okay. You, by the way, you don't have to wait 
for your students to take the diagnostic test before deploying record recordable activities and games to them. You might have noticed the many options under the diagnostic test. These are packages of interactive activities that in many cases include online practice and games. Of course, Mr. Nussbaum.com is known for its educational games, so we'd be remiss not to include those in a common core um, in a common core program. Also, I didn't want this to be like the other common core programs out there. I wanted this to be a lot of fun. And so students had looking had something to look forward to. Most students don't care about the data so much. Um, and so by adding games, hopefully it brings a measure of fun experience to the Common Core. So anyway, um, essentially, and, and, and at the time I'm doing this video, we're, the, the, the program is not completely done. So we're still, I'm still adding things to this and making changes to it to make the experience as seamless as possible. But let's say that I'm doing a unit on 2.md.1.a, which is a measurement, um, which is a measurement standard. If I click on this, it's going to show me. Um, I'm going to move up a little bit. So it says 2.md.1.a. Measure the length of an object by selecting and using appropriate tools such as rulers, yardsticks, meter sticks, and measuring tapes. So here you say there's, there's a practice worksheet that's called Practice 1, and there's a game called Measurement Workshop. Okay, so I'm going to deploy this. I want my students to do this. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to deploy this. Deploy this to one of my students. Let's do it to, um, well, let's do it to Gabriel Nussbaum. Click deploy now. And item is successfully deployed. So now, quickly, I'm actually going to log out and log in as a student so you can see. And you can deploy as many packages as you want at one time. I just did one at a time, but you can do more. So I click log in. I'm going to log in as this particular student. It's my two-year-old son who would normally do this. But I'm going to go to Common Core Grade 2. He's been kind of my test account. And here it is. So 2.md.1.a. So here, for example, if I were going to go to practice one, you'll see the kind of activity that he can work on to practice this skill. So it says how, and you see here's where all the scores show. How long is each line? Scroll down to find the answer. So let's do this quickly. So this is, two, this is one centimeter. So from two to six looks like one, two, three, four centimeters. Some of them are fill in the blank, some of them are multiple choice, and some of them are these drop down menu ones like this. So this is two and a half centimeters. This one looks to be seven centimeters. We have six centimeters, five and a half. And I'm just trying to do this fast seven and a half, four, three and a half, and eight. And then I can click the bottom check, or I can click the top check. I'll click the top one. So I got 100% on that. Now, eventually, this will populate once I press OK, and it'll reload, and all of these score, and all the all the scores will will appear. So, for example, if I go back one page, and we we'll try this one again. Oh, this one didn't record, but. As I said, this isn't totally ready for production yet. If I were to go back to games and click measurement workshop, you can see a game that this student can do. Oh. Anyway, so we're working on that part. But anyway, that, by the time you have a chance to use this, uh, this program, all of these little items will be fixed. And um, so anyway, this is it. I hope you uh, get a lot of use and enjoyment out of it.